Eric Larson, The Devil in the White City, Murder, Magic, and Madness at the Fair that Changed America. Welcome to an exhilarating journey of national pride, architectural wonders, and unprecedented crime in 1890s Chicago. The Devil in the White City by Eric Larson tells an enthralling story of a marvelous world's Columbian exposition, built at a time when Chicago was riddled with chaos and violence. From the captivating architectural vision of Daniel Burnham, the man responsible for constructing Chicago's White City, to the chilling tale of America's first known serial killer, the book reveals the fascinating, dark underbelly of this historic event. This intriguing tale of murder, change, and progress promises to enthrall you with its rich depiction of life in a tumultuous era. Chicago in the 1890s a gripping tale of crime, poverty, and progress in the Windy City. Step into Chicago in the late 1800s, and you'll find a city of contrasts. On the surface, it's a place of dizzying growth, ambitious dreams of progress, and expanding opportunities for young women. This is an exciting time when the city's meatpacking industry is booming, and modern skyscrapers are rising up to transform the skyline. But beneath the veneer of progress, there's a darker side to the city. Chicago is one of the most violent places in North America, with an average of four gruesome deaths each day. The police force is ill-equipped to handle the crime wave, and murder is rampant. Meanwhile, the city's poor residents suffer through epidemics of cholera, typhus, and other deadly diseases, living in squalor amid infestations of rats and flies. The city's water supply is teeming with bacteria, and fire is an ever-present threat, thanks to flimsy wooden shanty homes that go up in flames constantly. Despite all this mayhem, there are glimmers of hope and progress for some. Women are joining the workforce in unprecedented numbers, building new lives for themselves as stenographers, typists, seamstresses, and weavers. According to urban reformer Jane Addams, young girls have never had more freedom to travel and explore than they do now. Through it all, Chicago is a city that refuses to be defined by its troubles alone. As much as it's shaped by violence and poverty, it's also a bastion of ambition and progress, a place where people from all walks of life are carving out new futures for themselves amid the chaos. Building America's Reputation In 1889, the Exposition Universelle in France showcased innovation and glamour, putting the limelight on France as the cultural standard. America had a mediocre section in the fair and was embarrassed. To restore America's reputation, the world's Columbian Exposition was created, with Chicago chosen to host it. Despite its corrupt reputation in the 1890s, Chicago won the bid, thanks to its residents' proud reputation as the Windy City. The project to build the exposition was massive, and Chicago needed an excellent leader. The White City Rises The construction of the world's Columbian Exposition of 1893, led by architect Daniel Burnham, faced tremendous challenges due to a struggling economy, budget constraints, dangerous working conditions, and class conflict. However, Burnham's charisma and leadership skills enabled him to complete the project on time, resulting in the creation of the inspiring and stunningly beautiful White City. The World's Columbian Exposition The World's Columbian Exposition lasted for six months and attracted over 27 million visitors. It showcased over 200 buildings including the first clothing zipper, the Ferris wheel, and the electric kitchen. The fair was attended by famous inventors and honored guests, including Thomas Edison and the author Theodore Dreiser. However, Despite the fair's beauty and technological advancements, Chicago's issues with violence and crime persisted. During the fair's dedication day, American schoolchildren first recited the Pledge of Allegiance. The Devil in Chicago Henry Howard Holmes, the world's first known serial killer, lured young women to their deaths in his hotel during the Chicago World's Fair. The hotel was designed as a death trap, with gas pipes to silently asphyxiate guests, a soundproof basement vault to suffocate them, and a custom-made hanging room. Holmes dissected the corpses and sold the skeletons. Police found evidence of at least 20, possibly over 200, murders. 
In 1895, Holmes was tried for murder, found guilty, and sentenced to death. The case was a media sensation around the world, and in 1896, Holmes was hanged. The Devil in the White City unveils the awe-inspiring beauty and underlying darkness that surrounded the famous world's Columbian Exposition, in Chicago. Despite the city's turbulent times and diverse challenges, the fair was a symbol of hope, progress, and American ingenuity. Visitors marveled at the cutting-edge inventions showcased and innovative architectural wonders such as Burnham's White City and George Ferris Jr.'s eponymous wheel. Yet amid the splendor, the horrific crimes of H. H. Holmes cast a sinister shadow. In the end, this enthralling book reminds us of the dramatic contrasts between humanity's incredible achievements and our darkest inclinations, illuminating the complex landscape that shaped modern America.